Alright, I need to make a water tank. The last water tank I made was pretty good. So let's look up what I did last time. Jamie Mansell water tank. Oh wow, that's a nice form. Huh, I guess I could make another one of those. Ooh, that's, that looks great. Uh, right, that's what I did. Concrete in there before anything moves. I do still have those. Luckily, I have lots of heavy things. All right. To get the last. Oh wow, there. that looks amazing. I'm gonna to have to do the same thing. Adjust my curve a little bit. Hmm. So this. All right. So I need to see if I can find a piece of wood to match that other one. Cause that that old form is long gone. That was years ago. I've used it for like eight other things and then eventually used it in the fire. Oh, well, now I'm wondering if I should just use the fiberglass forms for the inside and the outside. The, the reason I did the wood one before was because I made a really nice surface and then waxed it all to make a really nice internal thing. But like, I'm probably going to end up spackling the internal surface anyway, so it's not going to matter much. So, maybe I should just use two of these. One for the inside, one for the outside. That means I just need to make a form, like a, a, a curve thing, to, to get one of these to, to conform to it. And then the outside one, just like last time, I just need to clip it. And then, since these are taller than the wood thing, I'll need to make longer clips. So I'll need to make them a little stronger and blah. It's not that hard to do, though. I think that is a better plan than making a disposable wood one. Ooh, pineapple. All right, let's get these things out of here. Right. Usually I have PVC pipes going through here. And without those in, these are really flexible. So that's good. All right, I need to make a curve that can that this can <coughs> onto, and then some clips. All right, let's do the curve first. Should be pretty simple. Oh, I think I can use one of these guys. I think I've got space for a two meter diameter. I think. Maybe I should cut it a little bit short just in case. All right, let's make it mm, 95 centimeters. How many inches is that? Just over three feet. Okay, so there's my center. I said 95, right? There. Oh, you know what? I might be able to get it all in this one piece. Barely. You hold this end of the tape right at the thing, and as I go around, just keep it like right there. Yeah, you gotta hold it. You can't just hold it down. No, you gotta you gotta move it. Like a, yeah, but just keep it right up against there. And let it come this way a little. My fiberglass things over there are 160 centimeters across. So hopefully this is 160 centimeters along this curve. And he's close to it. Doesn't need to be perfect. All right, that's close enough. I think that's everything I need this for. Yeah. Looks good enough for what I'm doing. Yeah. So 
if I get this lined up right, I should be able to put a cut right there, there, and there, and then the end flanges just hang over the sides. Yeah. I think I'll screw that in, close those gaps. All right, so this end has a good curve. This end has a rough curve. So I'll put this at the bottom first and my other piece will be clipped on out here. I'll get a nice circle made, I don't know, a little bit, then flip this over. But then how am I gonna attach the clips? Hmm, unless, all right, I think I've got some ideas for this. Okay, yeah, I want to have this on the top for most of them, you know, after I get the first, like, circle done. So I'll make a circle. This is going to make sense eventually. And then I'll put this up at the top so that this part gets clipped into the circle or pushed into it, whatever, so it conforms well instead of just having the rope roughly make it circular. So then the top will be actually circular. And then I'll just have to have some kind of clip up at the top here. And at the bottom... I'll have a rope that goes all the way around the circle that's tight that that form kind of stuffs into down there and that's what will hold it in. And then on the inside part here I'll just have to have stuff that, some sticks that fit. Okay, yeah, this makes sense. So that means I don't need to make big long clips to come all the way down. Because those, those are a pain in the butt anyway. I just need little clips at the top and then a rope at the bottom and some sticks that I can get anywhere. Okay, good guy. I also have what I think is a good idea for doing the forms for my house. Uh, I don't want to get all into it right now, but I'm just going to say quickly. Remember, Jamie? L's and small clips. Upside down L's and waffles. Waffle the L's with small clips. Don't forget that, dude. Okay, now if I forget what I was going to do, I can come back and look here and get totally confused about waffles. I found some wood floating in the ocean the other day. And after getting the rusty nails out of it, it's in surprisingly good shape, so I'm using it. Alright, yeah, a bunch of those. That's about the right thickness, I think. Yeah. And then this guy will go at the end of the forms. I don't know how it stays there yet. Well, I think that looks like a fair bit of all right. I numbered them because I'm probably going to have to make some adjustments and then I know which spot fits. Got some rocks, some water, some cement, more, more rocks, my forms. Oh, wait, I better check. Can I remember the. Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, and most of all, I've got me. Hey, got that all set up. Getting some concrete in there before anything moves. Don't move. Don't. Okie doke. Uh, that's about mm, that full. So first I'm just gonna get a circle here. And then I'll have something for the, the forms to clamp onto. Mangoes! Oh, there's one over there. Oh, concrete, you're so slow. I guess I can cut some grass while I'm here. Alright, I'm going to leave this. 
come back do another part tomorrow morning. These are all palm fronds. They just keep everything in the shade.